Weasel 1A4 is a very, very small vehicle that can hide pretty much anywhere. Opponents simply don't pay attention to anything they don't consider big enough to be a threat. And that gives this vehicle the ability to feel relatively safe behind enemy lines, even when tanks are passing right next to you. Additionally, this vehicle has many features that might give you advantage over opponents, but eventually all tanks' features and all your decisions made in battle lead to a moment when you have to fire your cannon. And then you either can penetrate opponent's armor or not. This vehicle has a 20mm autocannon, which is not so dangerous since it lacks penetration. The most penetrating belt uses APDS rounds with up to 66mm of penetration that rapidly decreases over distance. When it comes to light tanks, there should be no problems. A stream of projectiles along the vehicle will knock out all crew members in a matter of seconds. If a lightly armored opponent is further away, again, no problems. Laser Rangefinder will calculate the distance very quickly and automatically adjust your sights. It's a luxury that is not available for most of the tanks you will be playing against at vehicle 7.0 battle rating. Weasel 1A4 is one of the first vehicles to have such a rangefinder. But before using the rangefinder, you have to notice the opponent first, which is not always easy to do. What if the opponent is hidden among the trees? What if opponent's camouflage colors completely blend the vehicle with its surroundings? What if the opponent is completely covered in bushes? What if you play with your eyes closed? Okay, if you play with your eyes closed, it might not help you, but in all previous cases, bright silhouette and thermal sight will reveal the opponent's location, and just like with Rangefinder, it's happening at battle rating 7.0, where majority of tanks don't have thermal devices yet. But what if you want to flank opponents, or arrive at capture point before everyone else? Does the Weasel 1A4 has a feature that would help with that? Yes. The maximum speed of this vehicle is 80 kph, which is reachable on roads, though you might need to move in a straight line for a while. While on normal terrain, the vehicle moves at around 50 kph, which is noticeably faster than most other vehicles. And the reverse of 29 kph can be a few times faster than many tanks you will be playing against. When comparing it with fast vehicles only, Probably the most notable difference is how quickly Weasel accelerates thanks to its low mass, when compared to also fast but much heavier vehicles. At the same time, small mass makes it difficult to go through various fences. You will need to shoot your way through sometimes, which might attract unnecessary attention. By the way, do you know what kind of fuel vehicle's engine uses? Weasel fuel? Considering the small size of this vehicle, you will be able to easily go through narrow streets and cities. But you might want to go even further and hide in such confined places that you wouldn't even consider as a cover while playing bigger tanks. And most importantly, opponents don't consider them as hiding spots as well, so they don't expect to be attacked from there. But all these advantages provided by rangefinder, thermal sight, mobility or size fade when the opponent has more serious armor. None of these things, no matter how useful they are, will help to actually reach opponent's crew members. That is the biggest downside of Weasel 1A4. Most of the time, you have to let the opponents go. It's painful to watch how multiple tanks are moving through your position, exposing their backs, and you know that there is nothing you can do apart from spotting them for your allies and hoping that someone else will take care of them for you. The light tank that you are waiting for, which your projectiles can penetrate, might never move through your hiding spot during a whole battle. And then you start asking yourself, what is the point of seeing all these opponents in normal or thermal sight if you cannot defeat them anyway? There is one type of vehicle that is always lightly armored. I'm talking about planes. The Weasel 1A4 is classified as SPAA, which gives a hint at how developers are suggesting to use this vehicle. It's better to switch to explosive rounds when you attack planes because those rounds are more effective 
and switching belts takes only 1 second or so, while the full reload takes 8 seconds with a screw. So in tense situations when every second matters, remember, switching to another belt is always faster than reloading. But in my opinion, if you focus on planes, other SPAs might be better, because Weasel has few downsides. First of all, its autocannon elevates only 45 degrees. It's not enough. Also, it has limited horizontal guidance, 110 degrees to each side. It's not a big issue since the vehicle rotates in place very fast, but still it can mess up your aim at the worst possible moment. And finally, because the armor of this vehicle is so thin that even low caliber machine gun bullets can penetrate it, because the sides are 8mm thick while roof is only 6, and there are only two crew members, meaning that once one of them is knocked out, the whole vehicle is destroyed, aircraft are a bigger threat to this SPAA than you are to airplanes. So I would primarily use Weasel to get behind enemy lines and fight tanks and switch to planes only when there are no tanks left or the plane flies really close to me providing a great opportunity to attack. In arcade, Weasel becomes faster and it's a bit easier to aim at planes because of the lead indicator. That's it, the rest are disadvantages. The aiming cross is not as useful for you as it is useful for your opponents, since you already have a laser rangefinder, and you don't need to look at aiming cross color to know that you will not be able to penetrate your targets. Name tags will make all tanks visible, making your thermal sight useless, and at the same time you won't be able to get behind enemy lines unnoticed. During air events, Weasel's name will tell every plane that you are a perfect target that can be attacked from above where your blind spot is, and your armor can be penetrated with any machine gun. So only downsides for the most part. Spamming scouting ability is the only way to stay somewhat useful, but I wouldn't recommend playing this vehicle in arcade. The main idea of this vehicle is that you cannot engage all opponents. In most cases you will have to scout and let them go, since there is nothing else you can do if you cannot penetrate their armor. Yes, you can break their tracks and cannon, but that will reveal your location, which is very bad considering that stealth is the main weasel's advantage. This makes the gameplay more random. If an approaching opponent plays a light vehicle, good for you. If not, you can look at them in thermal sight, you can measure the distance with a rangefinder, but all this cool technology won't help you if you simply don't have enough penetration. I would rate Weasel 1A4 3 not penetrations out of 10. Yes, it is so fast and small that you can easily get behind enemy lines and hide there. But then what? Spot them for your allies? The best way to help your team is by destroying opponent's vehicles, which Weasel does very poorly. It doesn't mean that I would never use this vehicle. I would put it into a lineup just to have a fast vehicle for the late game, when heavy and medium tanks are destroyed and players mostly jump into planes or SPAAs. But even then, Weasel's usefulness is questionable.